Stop looking yourself here and look at me. I mean, look at yourself over there and look at me. Look, I'm about to drop this video right now, but you know, she, she like my stylist before I go on stage or something. Look at her. <laughs> what? You gotta make sure it looks good until you freaking get a shoot though. That's coming soon. All right, all right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let me make this video. All right, I think it looks a little better. All right, Godspeed to the Speedy Tribe. How we doing out there? We back with another video, right? Now watch this. We about to uh make this real interesting, man. Um. So before I even go to this, go deep into this dialogue, right? Shout out to my boy Giga HD, man. That's my divine bro. That's my soul brother. Um. If y'all know who that is, if y'all don't know who that is, check out his videos. He's on YouTube and Instagram and everywhere. He got a, he has a great stock course. So if you want to get rich, get your wealth up, do what you got to do, right? And it's crazy how I'm looking at the time right now, and it's 5.55 East Coast time. Well, it just turned 5.56 now, but that means you're in divine timing, right? So introducing the divine pill, right? Because a lot of y'all, right, what well, I'm starting to notice, right? And this is going back to the conversation I had with Giga. Real dope conversation. The divine pill, right? Let's look up the definition of... No, matter of fact, let's kill this one off first. Let's look up the definition of red pill. Used to refer to a process by which a person's perspective is dramatically transformed, introducing them to a new and typically disturbing... Keyword, typically disturbing, right? Understanding of the true nature of a particular, particular, another keyword, situation, right? So we all know how the old the red pill the red pill community is overly saturated with a lot of guys who are, you know, waking up right to a disturbing part of the truth, right? And the thing about the red pill community, I don't no 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 knock no shade to none of them who's actually producing red pill content because I was one of them at one point. But what I took upon myself to do, right? Because I graduated from Blue Pill, right? Whatever you want to, whatever box you want to encapsulate me in or encapsulate yourself in, I graduated from being more. I was on a Blue Pill scale, went to the Red Pill, went to the Purple Pill, went to the Black Pill. Now I'm what you call a Divine Man, right? Ultimately, Divine Man. Now, the reason why I'm making this is because a lot of you guys get stuck in the Red Pill mindset and stay there. You get caught up in it. And you stay on the disturbing side of what knowledge is, right? Or understanding of true nature of whatever you're going through. And you stay on the disturbing side. Keyword, disturbing. So that means everything got to associate with something disturbing or bad or just hurtful about a truth. The truth about whatever goes on in life should be beautiful. Which brings me to my next point. Divine, right? Because we're talking about divine pill, right? Let's talk about what the definition of divine is of from or like god or a god excellent delightful a clear or listen or good looking thing right godly godlike angelic sanity right heavenly celestial holy spiritual keyword spiritual right so the reason why I'm making this is to put that in contrast to what the red pill is, right? The divine pill versus the red pill, right? And there's a lot of men who get caught up in a red pill situation where they can't seem to accept the fact that the things that make up the world, right? And the the women, right? Because most red pill men make content about women and what the women did to them and how they are and they talk, they tell the truth about women, right? But those type of men don't really be telling the truth about themselves, right? And the truth about themselves is that they come from a woman. And I'm not saying to put a low-value woman who values you lower over you yourself. I'm talking about actually valuing the fact that you actually come from one. Your mom is a woman. Your sister is a woman. Your aunt is your grandmother, right? But when you make all this content that don't have nothing to do with you, because most of the Red Pill content creators that I see out here... They make the they make the they make the content that had to do with them. You just soak it up because you went through that, right? 
in a particular situation, then you identify what's your true reality. And then now you make it your reality when it wasn't supposed to be your ongoing reality. Maybe for that split miller millisecond or that minute or whatever you was watching the video, maybe, it, yes, you identify with it. But see, the thing is, when you overdose on it and you keep on doing it every single day, you shun yourself of great things to come in life. And I'm telling you this because I learned from experience. This is wisdom talking. This is experience talking. And I want to let you guys know that you got to honor the good things that come into your life and remove ego. Divine men, we don't have no ego where we don't let our ego dictate our movements in life. We don't let our ego shun us from great women that come into our life. We actually uh, adapt right to what the situation is and don't let the red pill creep in to where everything gets messed up because we're thinking with that red pill mentality because red pill is actually a philosophy. Divine is something spiritual. You get the difference? You get the difference? Being divine is something spiritual. Being red pill is something knowledgeable. What would you take? Knowledgeable or spirit? You make that distinction. You make that choice. But I'm only making this video to shed light on the fact that there's a lot of things that's going on in this world and people are tapping into their divinity, right? Right? So we're going to call that the divine pill. The divine pill, the very strong divine pill that makes you more intact with your spirituality, right? And not oversaturated, right? With the red pill mentality that can lead you astray because it's not meant for you. A lot of y'all young dudes, a lot of y'all young dudes, man, got it, got it all messed up with this red pill thing. And I'm not saying not to be aware of nature. You got to be aware of nature, but accept it. But don't look down on it and don't demonize it. Don't, don't try to make it a bad thing. It's good. It's something great. The truth is great. But see, y'all make the truth hurtful. Nah, the truth is what it is. It's beautiful. And y'all get so caught up in trying to just make videos. And, and I don't get... I, look, I don't knock the hustle neither because sometimes dudes make red pill content just to, you know, get inside of the YouTube algorithm. Come on, we already know that too. Like, they make videos, reactions on people, certain people to make their, you know, subscriber count go up more. And that's, and that's cool. I don't knock that neither. That's a hustle. But what I'm saying is... To the youngins out there following this red pill content, not knowing themselves, because what you're doing, you're rinsing and repeating a philosophy that was regurgitated back to you, right? And now you're taking on that from somebody else's perspective rather than yourself. You got to be willing to go through things to actually see what I'm talking about right now. And a lot of y'all young dudes ain't live a love enough life for y'all to realize that yet. And I'm just here to let you know to go live life. And don't just build things off of conjecture because conjecture can lead you astray. So go out, work on becoming divine. Make your aura shine. Make women, women, wake, make all women attracted to you, bro. Go out and do your thing. Go attract that divine feminine woman that con that complements your divinity, your, your your way of being a divine man. A lot of y'all attract bottom of the barrel type of girls because y'all think bottom of the barrel of the girl. You hear me? A lot of y'all attract bottom of the barrel girls because y'all think bottom bottom of the barrel about the girl. So you, what you become and what you think on a daily basis is what you're going to attract. Queen that I attracted in my life, the one that just did this real quick, I attracted her because I my aura was strong. Amplification. You always want a woman that's going to amplify everything you got around you, man. You never want to make it to where, oh... Oh, I'm this and I'm that, and ain't no woman could add on to me. Because you, if you want to get technical, a lot of these content creators out here really got girlfriends. They got women behind them. Behind every strong man is a strong woman. Know that. And I'm not saying we don't... Look, everybody need everybody in real life. Don't act like you don't need... You, yeah, to survive and fend for yourself, right? You don't need a woman. But to procreate and actually have love from that divine feminine aspect, you need a woman for that. So in certain aspects, you do need a woman. So don't go around with that mochismo talking about, oh, nah, I don't need no woman. Because women do the same thing about men. And all, and women know in their right mind that they do need men. And men know in their right mind that they need women. The whole point of it, the whole point of what I'm making is to tap into your divinity, man. Because we all got divine spirits and energies inside of us that we need to start tapping into. And stop tapping into this, this mindset of being red pill because it's leading y'all astray. It's leading y'all to, to yeah, it's leading y'all to a slaughterhouse or a cliff 
or to just plain old conjecture where you just lose yourself in somebody else's ideology and dogma. And that's not good for you. It's not good for you or your future self or your future kids if you even have some. Because then you're going to regurgitate the same thing you learned from probably other, other people that lived their life the way they did it instead of you living your life. So yeah, man. Focus on becoming divine. I'm out. Right? Godspeed. And stay tuned, man, for great content coming soon. All right? Peace.